Hello and a very good morning to you. If it is indeed morning with you, it's uh, Saturday the 26th of October. My name is Christian Simpson and this is the John Maxwell Team Certification Call. Uh, I'm delighted to be with you this morning and we have a very uh, special guest this morning. We have another fellow faculty member and our Vice President Scott Fay on the line. Um, so Scott, morning my friend, are you there? I am here man, how are you doing? Oh, I'm really well buddy. It's, it's great isn't it? it you know, we do that many mentorship calls in the week and that many, you know, that many te special teaching calls, but there's nothing quite like the team call, is there? I know. I, I couldn't even help myself. I, I have, for different reasons, haven't been on the call for a while and I was going through withdrawal, and I appreciate you letting me just jump on here with you for a second. I won't, I won't stay on very long, I promise, but it's just, I just had that need, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you've got an important uh, uh, thing to talk about because... Uh, the very thing you're talking about, I was only watching this morning, and it is so special that I'm so glad that you've come on to mention it today. Well, I just, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about it because uh, this video series, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, as I watched it, you know, uh, Christian, you remember when Paul showed us uh, both yeah. the faculty and the team, and then, and then we played it at this last certification. We had excerpts, but we didn't see the whole thing. Uh, I don't know what it did for you, but it was, it really pleasantly really surprised me. I mean, it was it was it was beyond what I expected. Yeah, uh, no, I agree. And, uh, I, I, I it was just clips that we saw, and they were funny, and they were I mean, they were valuable enough in themselves. But actually, to watch the there's, there's so much wisdom in there, and it's it's beautifully mixed with that humor and that great chemistry that John and, and yeah. Les have. And the, the amazing thing is, is that what people don't realize at the time is. Is John and Les, that was really the first time they'd come together in the same studio after, after all these years of, of being top, top end speakers, which is incredible when you think how they get on. Yeah, it, it really, really was. And I have to say that our good friend Paul Mart Mart Martinelli uh, <laughs> was really good himself. Uh, you know, and he, my goodness, he looked like a million dollars. In fact, I was sitting there thinking, I can't wait to the next certification. You know, when we do that. That special hug routine. I mean, it just it just looked like a million bucks. I've just kind of <laughs> well, I think it's worth finding it just to see actually Paul Martinelli on his game because it's such a rarity. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Well, here's I mean, obviously there's you know there's the the big takeaway is or the big benefit you know is to repost this uh, is such a great way f for every one of us to reach to our audience, let them know really what we're doing. It's one thing to, for people to know that we're a John Maxwell Certified Speaker, Trainer, and Coach. Uh, but then to see so many people don't really know, you know, what's behind that. I mean, in some, in some places, John's the best kept secret in the world. Um, oh, he's, yeah. He's, right? Oh, I live so, in a country that, I mean, it kind of, epitomizes the challenges, I think, for a British society when they, you know, a lot of people I mentioned it to, and, and don't get me wrong, very successful entrepreneurs or leaders in their own right, and they, and they, they don't know John Maxwell, and I'm saying, hey, sure. <laughs> you are really missing right. out. And, and when they do, you know, they, they, they open up to, um, they realize what they're missing, so you're, you're spot on. <clears throat> I think it's so, it's a great way to, to really help people just get a little glimpse in a very open and, as you've said, fun and humorous and yet impactful and insightful way. Um, and then for those in the mentorship program, you know, this also becomes a great funnel for yeah. referrals and, and, and all of that. Everyone in the mentorship you know, knows about that. But here's, I think, what, what really hit me uh, as I watched it for the first time is this is a fantastic tool as they share their experiences as communicators not not just you know not to don't just think of this from the stage, but certainly from the stage, but just as a, as communicators of how to recover and and how to how to handle situations that come up and and and, and how to laugh at yourself. I mean, as you've said, it's just packed with well, if it's forty years of peace, that's eighty years of of experience that's turned into wisdom. It's worth watching. Absolutely. Just there was something I was done. thinking about this morning, Scott, actually, just on this point. That is a really important point. Um, I, was on a, I was on a call. Uh, it was with one of my marketing mentors, and uh, the whole call was dedicated to uh, the power of PR. 
but, but a more intelligent approach to PR. And when I saw the good, the bad, and the ugly this morning in terms of what it gives our team members, I thought, what an amazing opportunity <clears throat> to demonstrate to your target audience in the world that you are closely associated and in partnership with two of the leading people at the top of our business. What an amazing PR opportunity it is, Scott. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, it, if you don't maximize this opportunity for just that alone, you're missing out on, on, on a really great competitive advantage, if you want to call it that, but it's far more than that. It, you're absolutely right. This is some of the best PR you could ask for. Ah, unbelievable. I wish I had it when I was uh, right at the start of the industry. I mean, just, just to... I mean, you know, I'm very blessed now, and we all are, being being so close to John. But uh, back then, you know, when I was beginning in this industry, there was nobody, um, no, nobody uh, anywhere near the top of the business to to claim credibility from. And that's what that's what this is about, isn't it, Scott? It's about, about oh, showing yeah. the world straight away your credibility. Yeah, you know, on that point, you know, for me, it was I started with Paul back, you know, ten or twelve years ago with. We had none of that momentum behind us, and and uh, <laughs> this this really is is great. Listen, I know you've got a lot to go over today, and I, and I, but there's one more thing, if I could, I'd like to share with the team. Can I have another minute? Of course, my friend. You you know, uh, whether you're brand new or and I'm, I'm looking at the dashboard, and I see several of you who have been in the John Maxwell program since its beginning. Your founding members. So whether you're brand new or you're a founding member, you're, you don't need me to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway to, to all of you that you're in for a, a great hour this morning. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. One of the reasons I, I want to get on this call, Christian, you have impacted my leadership, not, not just the coaching lane, but my leadership in, in such a way. Uh, I never, ever understood before you began to pour into my life the the power of coaching. And out of all the forms of transformational leadership that we use to help bring people from one place to another, help them help themselves, coaching, I mean, there, there is nothing... There is nothing like coaching, and and I'm not coaching right now. I'm teaching. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm I'm mentoring. But I'm telling you, each and every one of you, that that you're in for a great uh, a, a great hour. And Christian, I, I appreciate the way that that you go about what you do, and uh, and the skill that you bring, and, and all of that. But uh, most importantly, uh, it's your authentic approach because everything that you share, you know, you live it out. And I just want to come on this morning and say, uh, in, in my personal business, as, as a business leader and an entrepreneur, uh, I have found coaching to be a powerful way to communicate with vendors and customers and fellow team members and partners and, and people that we would, we would want to eventually do business with. I mean, coaching is, is really a powerful tool. And I have it in my box now, and I never had it before. There was a point where I said I could never coach. I don't have the patience. Mm. Uh, I, I didn't think it was I in my it. DNA. <laughs> yeah. I, remember, Scott, I, I remember our conversations. We had a, just everyone on the line, a little bit of a insight into the into the sort of uh, uh, back end of of, uh, of what we uh, what we did the first ever training. Um, Scott and I we had a, we had back to back trainings with our with our founding partners. And Scott and I used to go out on bikes, didn't we? On your, on the bikes that you brought out, Scott, right. and go around the the shopping centre malls very early in the morning to keep ourselves in uh, in in relative good shape because it was it was hard work, you know, going back to back. And I remember that conversation, Scott, where you said to me, "I don't think this is for me." Um, yeah. You know, I, I can't see it for me, and, and that, everything's changed for you. And it's a really great lesson, and I'm so glad you've come on and shared it, my friend. Because one of the biggest challenges to people really understanding transformational leadership is that they do not understand what coaching is. They have a perception of it that is actually false. Yeah. And I think it's fair to say, with the greatest respect, Scott, that you were one of them. Absolutely, absolutely. And I've come to believe that we're not just and I say this with respect, we're not just coaches, we are leadership coaches, and we're not just leadership coaches, we're transformational leadership coaches. Right. And when you put those three words together, transformation and influence or leadership and coaching, 
Now that's that's a that's a powerful combination. So my friend, I'm gonna let I'm gonna jump off of here and, and not take any more of your time. I just wanted you to know I appreciate you and, and thanks for letting me jump on with everybody today. Oh bless you, Scott. Well it's great to have you. Um we haven't done this for a long time and uh it's just great for me to have, be on a call with you, but we have got a lot to get through. Uh, thank you so much for coming on and uh, uh, and pouring into everyone, because uh, I know you've got a lot on. You've got a few calls this morning, so uh, it's been great to hear your voice. There you go, everybody. That's our Vice President, Scott Fay, um, and uh, I'll speak to you soon, my friend. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Talk to you. God bless you. There you go. Oh, well, there you are. What a fantastic way to start off your call. If you've just joined the John Maxwell team certification uh, call, uh, and, and uh, sorry, the team, uh, that's a fantastic way to kick off uh, your first call. Um, just to introduce myself, uh, my name is Christian Simpson, and I'm, uh, I'm delighted to be with you um, and be in your service today. Um, if you've not quite got who I'm, uh, what I'm about, you're probably told by the conversation. Uh, I'm one of the faculty, and my responsibility is to educate you in the art, skill, and practice of professional coaching. So if you are new to the team, and this is your first experience of the call, on behalf of John, uh, on behalf of Paul Martinelli and Scott Fay, his partners, the faculty, the founding partners, and everyone in the global community of the John Maxwell team, a very warm welcome. And many congratulations on choosing to join this extraordinary organization, although it's more than an organization. In fact, it's more than a team. We, we have used this terminology before in the John Maxwell uh, team, but it, it can sound like it's a bit over the top. It can sound like it's a little bit stomach-churning to some people, perhaps, but it's true. This is a family. And there have been certain events over the last three years that have shown that we are a family unit, and I'm just delighted you're here. Um, so if you, if, you, if you thought you had a handle on personal growth and networking, and, and perhaps you had a, an idea of, uh, thought you had a real understanding of leadership before, you're about to discover just how little you knew and how much you were about to know. So you've got my permission, and you've got everyone's permission, and you should have your own, to be extremely excited about the journey ahead and what the future holds for you if you're stepping into your purpose, which I can only imagine you are, about helping improve and transform the lives of human beings on this planet, then you are in the right place. And of course, all that begins by transforming your own. And you have made the biggest decision of all to do that by investing in yourself. So you have my huge respect and love and admiration for doing that. <clears throat> so today's call is focused on our newer members. I'll be opening up the line as soon as I can um, to ask you to come forward and into a question and answer. Ask any question you like about coaching. If you feel that you, you really don't understand what coaching is at all, that's okay. Um, there's no, there is never, it doesn't matter what call you're on with Christian Simpson, there is a, a golden rule. There is no dumb questions. I have made my living out of asking dumb questions, and it becomes natural to me because anybody who knows me personally knows that dumbness was the uh, first thing that uh, the good Lord put on my sheet uh, when he thought about creating me. So there you go. Uh, so anyway, no dumb questions here. In fact, the dumbest questions in the coaching process are often the most powerful game changers. So bring it on, my friends. This is not a time to be shy. And if you haven't got a question, it doesn't matter. Just come on the call and say hello. If this is your first time, if this is your first week in the John Maxwell team, I would love to hear from you. I'd love to say hello to you. We can't meet in person yet. But we will, and now's the time to say hello. I shouldn't also uh, overlook our longer-standing uh, team members, uh, founding partners, and, uh, and those who have, uh, have, have been part of the certification and part of our family uh, ever since, that is, initial training days. Uh, if you're all on the call, uh, for those of you that are, greetings. Before I open up the lines, I must uh, uh, take you through some essential information to help our newest members get the most out of their first few weeks in the John Maxwell team. You'll be delighted to hear that you have every ounce of support and guidance you could ever need in the John Maxwell team. Because this team is fully committed to your success. I don't just mean the leadership. I don't just mean John, Paul, Scott and the faculty. I mean the team. Everybody that is in it. We have, we have People that are certified and have been through this journey, as you are, who are mentors now. I'm going to talk about them in a little while. They're mentors in their own right. In fact, all of them are mentors in their own right. Some of them are stepping up to take leadership roles now. Um, but, but this is the nature of what we're in. Uh, a leader is not the person with the most followers. 
A leader is the person who creates the most leaders. And that's very much how we live it here in the John Maxwell team. We're fully committed to your success and to helping you navigate the learning journey that's ahead of you um, to make sure you maximize on the opportunity and get to where you want to get to as soon as possible. This is not a race. I don't want you to be concerned. I don't want you to be anxious. I just want you to remember that 3, 000, nearly 3,000 people have taken this path that you have and successfully navigated it. So you do not have to be anxious. It's natural that you have a certain amount of anxiety when you're perhaps looking at the size of a big elephant in front of you and wondering how you're going to eat it. We have all of the support, all of the training, and all of the guidelines that you could ever possibly need to make sure you transition that process beautifully. Okay, um, so believe me, time will pass very quickly, and in no time you'll be doing this too. So um, uh, please, please, I, I want to stress again, this isn't a race. Learn it, don't burn it. None of this information is withdrawn from you at any point. And we have set up the most comprehensive step-by-step -step roadmap in order for you to do it. It was created by the faculty over many, many hours, specifically Melissa Malik, who uh, if, you haven't, if you don't know about Melissa as yet, she's an extraordinary coach, extraordinary teacher, a fabulous lady. Um, she has walked this path uh, many times uh, and is a genius at masterminding. And you'll find out all about Melissa. Uh, she created the, uh, the, uh, the, a lot of the support that, uh, that you have. And I'm going to talk about a structured guideline to your first three months in the business. It's going to get you to where you need to be in the most effective manner. So the first place that you should go, if you haven't done so already, is the website. So that's at johnmaxwellgroup.com, at johnmaxwellgroup.com. And on the, left, uh, on the left of the uh, navigation bar, you'll see a huge Start Here button. Click that, and right at the top, you'll see the 90-Day Success Roadmap. In fact, I think, actually, it's been redesigned recently, and it's 90-Day it's Success Roadmap is a button itself right at the top of the, uh, the website. So you can't miss it anyway. It's got several of obvious steps within it once you click on there. But before I give you a quick overview of, of, of the navigation part of that process, it's all very simple, all very obvious. The first thing you'll notice when you get there, once you click on the 90-day success roadmap button, is that all the support call information is right there at the top of the screen. Now, this is vitally important for your success. We've created free a free live support program, and I stress, it is free. It is part of your investment to ensure that you get to where you need to get to in terms of building your business and everything else that you need in advance of training. So this is a, an integral part of your enrollment. You do not have to pay any extra for it. You'll never need any resources outside of what's been provided to you by the John Maxwell team staff and faculty. So it's all built in. So, by the way, if you're ever asked to, uh, to buy any resources outside of this program, just ignore the request. You can explain you've got everything that you need within this program. Well, what kind of program would it be if, uh, if, if, we were, uh, if, if you needed to go elsewhere to get the resources to maximize on your process here? Don't think so. Everything you need is here. Um, so, uh, the support calls are every Wednesday at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Time, United States. So that's 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, the call is facilitated by a range of team leaders, all of them JMT certified coaches, trainers, and speakers. These aren't external speakers that we've brought in that have never walked your path. These are people that know your path better than anybody else. And they alternate in two-week cycle. What I mean by alternate, um, actually, I should say, is that we bring in a, a, a new teacher every, every couple of weeks to kick off the process again for those that have come into the JMT in that two-week cycle. So I strongly, strongly advise you to get on these calls as soon as you can. Uh, if you're brand new, there's a new call starting every couple of weeks to guide you through from week one. But don't wait. I, I would suggest, I mean, you can if you want to, but, but I wouldn't suggest you wait for the first week uh, for the call to come around that takes you through week one. I strongly suggest you join the calls regardless of what week it is. So this is not a... It's not a path that will mean that you'll be out of your depth by joining week three. You know, there's some, there's some courses or there's some support uh, processes that would say that, hey, uh, why would I start at step three and not, uh, and not do step one and two? And you'll find yourself out of your depth. That is not the case here. 
Uh, plus, also, you can prepare in advance of listening to week one, two, or three uh, calls by listening to um, the archived calls that are all on the 90-day roadmap site. So, for instance, if next Wednesday you find that, um, uh, for instance, next Thursday perhaps Barry Smith is taking week two, then you can listen to Barry's first call uh, on the on the 90-day roadmap uh, website in advance so you're where you should be, bang, um, for, for Barry Smith's uh, call on uh, on Thursday. Same with Sherry Strong. Uh, Sherry's further down the line now, uh, with uh, probably at week five, six, something like that. Um, can't quite remember what week Sherry's at now. Um, but you can join that call and listen to the calls in advance of that. They're not they're not hours long. They're, they're simple to listen to. Very good for you to uh, to catch up very quickly, and you know where you are uh, in advance of the call. Even if you don't get time to listen to those calls, it is still a worthwhile investment jumping on them. So your guides in the process, as I mentioned, the team leaders have walked the JMT path. They're loyally dedicated to, to you. They've been loyal, dedicated students of, 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 of in the mentorship program, and they remain in the mentorship program. And as a consequence of working closely with the faculty as mentors every week, they become powerful mentors in their own right. So have no fear, my friends. You are in the best of hands, and we wouldn't design it any other way. Remember, this is free. Uh, and part of your enrollment. You don't need to, to go anywhere else and pay anything else for this. Uh, and these calls are there for you every Wednesday at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, but you'll find all of the call details, as I mentioned, at the top of the homepage on the 90-day success roadmap. I should mention that there's also orientation calls with the powerhouse of the John Maxwell team, uh, Cheryl Fisher. Cheryl is the Vice President of Operations, meaning basically that Every ounce of your John Maxwell team experience is either created by or overseen by Cheryl. She's our President Paul Martinelli's right-hand lady and has been actually for many years. Uh, let me tell you a bit of a secret here. Many years ago, um, when uh, I was in your seat, I was participating in a, uh, in a certification process. Uh, and I, I came across to the United States from England um, to... Uh, uh, to learn some material that was uh, that had resonated very highly with me in the same way that that you're here because John Maxwell resonated and his material resonated highly with you, and that company was was ran. The president was a man called Paul Martinelli, and his right hand lady was a lady called Cheryl Fisher. So there you are. I was a participant in a certification program that Paul and Cheryl ran, um, and Cheryl was the linchpin, uh, linchpin, <laughs> linchpin of that entire process back then and I can tell you nothing's changed the only thing that's changed is that this is well I, I, I can't put the zeros into context about how many times this training this certification is beyond what I experienced and by the way the faculty is made up of another three people that came to that experience Roddy Galbraith Melissa Malig and myself um, so that doesn't give you a, an indication of of you know how how we walk our talk and create leaders from from uh, from this experience. I don't know what can, but uh, in terms of Cheryl running it all um, and being the brains behind um, you know the operational aspects of this business, nothing's changed. And she's an extraordinary lady, gifted with, or gifted with organisational uh, skills and strategy uh, that that an understanding of strategy that I've not seen anywhere else in my 28 year old uh, career. And I have worked for some. Uh, significant organizations with some highly talented people. She's a, an extraordinary, an extraordinary leader. So the orientation calls are on Mondays at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And do all you can to be on them because it's a wonderful opportunity for you to get to know Cheryl and vice versa. Plus, you'll learn some very important information to maximize on your John Maxwell team experience, particularly in the first uh, few days and weeks. Talking of which, back to that 90-day roadmap. Um, I'm going backwards and forwards a little bit because, as I mentioned, dumbness was at the top of my list and uh, and I think like a goldfish. So uh, uh, I'm a bit like that um, character. If you've ever seen Finding Nemo and you ever saw Dory in it, I'm a bit like Dory. Uh, anyway, <laughs> on the home page, there's a diagram that shows you the structure of the roadmap and you'll see right at the top there are three yellow shields. Now, I'm told that they're highway signs. I have driven in the States, but I don't look at the signs. Um, because they're not the same as over here. And quite frankly, if I can't make them the same as over here, why should I pay any attention to them? Uh, I'm joking, of course. Um, so they, those signs there give you guidance on, the, on, the, uh, on your first steps. Getting started is you'll be taken aback to know 
where you get started. Uh, it gives you the basics of getting hooked into this community at the level that you need to. From all of the calls that take place every week, which I've mentioned, some of them, uh, how to sign in uh, and, and take a peep at the online university. The frequently asked questions area, which is, which is uh, such a valuable resource. I, I would strongly suggest, uh, before anything else this weekend, before the orientation calls and before the 90-day success roadmap, have a whiz through the frequently asked questions section. Just about everything that's ever been asked is in there. It's fabulous. It's a fabulous resource, and it helps you get up to speed very quickly. And it gives you instructions on how to join uh, a very, very important resource in your uh, John Maxwell team experience, the Facebook page, the Facebook team page. And also, it, it'll help you with the stipulations and the code of conduct for joining the Facebook page. It's not just a normal Facebook community. This is a closed Facebook community. It is... Um, fiercely uh, 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 ring-fenced for a very good reason. We don't want spammers on there and people that aren't part of this, uh, part of this family um, because environment is vitally important. Environment is essential for your learning and for your growth. Uh, the law of the inner circle, right? So, uh, so there's a code of conduct around the Facebook page. The next phase, the next phase to go after that is study time which is a simple step-by-step -step guide that takes you through learning the Maxwell philosophy. As I mentioned earlier, the Maxwell philosophy is brought to you by a fellow called John Maxwell. You may have heard of him. He's pretty good at the Maxwell philosophy, in fairness, and not quite as good as Scott Fay, <laughs> the man you heard at the top of the call. Um, I'm only kidding, John. He, he might get a bit sensitive about that. Uh, no, seriously, Scott Fay, um, uh, Vice President of the John Maxwell team, who you heard at the top of the call, really is an expert on the Maxwell philosophies because he has lived them. And I mean lived them in his business. Scott is an extraordinary entrepreneur. He runs a, a landscaping and environmental consultancy agency down there in Florida, one of the most successful in his, uh, in his field. And the reason it's most successful when actually its longest standing competitors have gone out of business this year, or last year, sorry, the reason that Scott's has had its, its record year in the same year as, as its competitors have gone under is because they live and breathe the Maxwell philosophies. So he's made that cultural. It's not just cultural in his life, it's cultural in his business. So uh, you can't have uh, anybody to help guide you more than John himself um, uh, through the Maxwell philosophies than Scott Fay. You'll then be guided through studying and preparing for your first mastermind group with excellent detailed videos from my good friend and the president of the company, the entrepreneurial genius behind the John Maxwell team and everything that's going to come into your life, a man called Paul Martinelli. He'll, be, uh, he'll guide you on how to implement and get your first mastermind scheduled and delivered and delivered in a world-class fashion. Now, you might be sitting there and thinking you're a million miles away from being able to hold a mastermind with success-hungry business owners or leaders uh, right now, and it's going to take you a few months. I can promise you, hand on heart, as I stand before uh, my creator and all of you and say that that is not the case. You can do this, and you can do this now. Once you watch those videos, you will see that you will powerfully be able to start transforming lives and give people who are shall we say, already awakened, but also those ready to be awakened, to take personal responsibility and leadership into their lives and give them a real taste of how you can help them awaken to a different level of performance in every aspect of their lives. So these are exciting times, and you will not have a better leader to take you through that process than Paul Martinelli. Next up is the same principle for Lunch and Learn. Uh, so you'll find out how you do Lunch and Learns, where you can go into organizations and companies and you know, just put out on lunch and learn, share some powerful information as, as people devour their sandwiches. Um, you know, most of them will probably just play darts or look out of the window uh, in, a, in a complete um, uh, trance for an hour. Uh, you're going to go into a company and pour into them and, and share some fantastic information with them. And then by the end of it, you'll have people asking you, when can you come and speak for us, coach for us, and train our people? Um, that's the way it works. So you've got some fabulous resources to, to get you up to speed very quickly. And then you'll find there there's also the five learning systems, the five core programs that you're certified in to be able to train people uh, in uh, uh, under John Maxwell's uh, banner, so John's material. He's never done that before. He has never, ever in his entire career allowed anyone else to train under his name uh, in the way that you can. How exciting is that? 
then you're moving to the next phase, which is business building. Now, I know this sounds a lot, but believe me, it's completely natural uh, and, and it, it'll all happen and evolve in its own, in its own way. Don't, don't concern yourself if it sounds quite a bit going on. And business building, now this is where you start to learn how to coach, speak, and teach as a John Maxwell certified coach, speaker, and trainer. It's all mapped out for you, and it's very easy to follow. Please don't skip over any aspects of this. Just follow it logically and in a step-by-step manner, and I promise you, it will reward you handsomely. From my perspective, here's a, here's a few tips on navigating the coaching curriculum. Firstly, let me just say, as, I, as you, if, if you were at the top of the call earlier, you'll have heard me having a little bit of a conversation with, uh, with Scott Fay about this. Scott is now one of the biggest ambassadors and, and supporters of coaching. Whereas if you take Scott back 18, not even, maybe not even that, 12, 18 months, he wasn't. He was a big advocate of leadership. And in Scott's uh, consciousness at that time, those two words were separated you'll soon learn that they're not. You cannot lead unless you coach. And let me explain why, very, very simply. John Maxwell says that leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. And influence is not bringing, I mean, this is me now saying this, influence, most people think influence is bringing somebody around to your truth. That is not influence at all. That's projection. Influence is bringing someone around to their own truth. And you do that by coaching by helping people become more aware of what they're unconscious to and help them live into that higher level of consciousness. So if you, if, you, if you currently don't think coaching is for you, that's not a problem. And even if you find out what coaching is through the early parts of the curriculum with me and it's still not for you and you try it, that's okay. No problem. Um, but I can say this. It's probably right now because you have very little idea of what coaching is that you think it's not for you. And I say that with the greatest respect because most people are ignorant to what coaching is. If you work in the leadership field, you are at a massive disadvantage if you're uneducated in what coaching is. As I mentioned, because you cannot lead effectively unless you know how to coach. I'm approached many times by people at training who had no intention of becoming a coach until they discovered what it is by exploring the curriculum. It literally, like you heard Scott Fay on this call today, lit them up and transformed their lives. You know, when we talk about transformational leadership, that begins with us. Everything begins with us. And when you finally understand the power of coaching and what it brings into your life, and then what it brings into others through you, the power is in the process, not in the coach, through you, it will light you up. And now they're the most dedicated students and ambassadors of the coaching practice today. Many of those people are my most dedicated students in the mentorship program. Now, I'm, I'm, please understand, I've no attachment to you becoming a coach. I, I'm not paid because, you, you, you know, if you, if you watch more of the curriculum uh, or, or you watch none of it, it makes no difference to me. Uh, and I'm not attached to you being interested in this field. If all you're interested in is being a speaker or a, or a trainer or a, and a teacher, that's brilliant. No problem. Now, just ensure you don't use the word coach in your marketing because you're not a coach. Many people in this business abuse the word coach, and the reason that most people misunderstand it is because they're on calls telling them they're coaching them when actually they're instructing them and telling them what to do. That is not what a coach does. So what I'd do is I'd encourage you to watch at least the first six lessons of the coaching curriculum. They're not long. It's on average between 10 and 20 minutes maximum, but that will give you enough insight to know whether this is for you or not. So let me give you a steer for how to approach that curriculum. The coaching curriculum is the most comprehensive of all of the disciplines. Um, it's, it's longer uh, and it's deeper than any other discipline, but don't let that put you off. It doesn't mean that it's, it's the most difficult. Coaching is a deep and wide subject that will not only transform your life, it'll transform the lives of everyone that you use coaching skills with and you adapt the power of the coaching process into your conversations. By the way, it'll make massive improvements in your personal relationships. In fact, it will transform for the better your personal relationships because uh, those closest to you will find conversations with you far more engaging far more enlightening, far more enriching when you learn how to coach. Now, this curriculum is not just about technical skills. 
it's a powerful personal growth experience in itself because you have to become the coach. Coaching is 99% about who you are and 1% about technique. As you'll learn in lesson two of the first module, continually developing yourself at the level of character is a non-negotiable part of being a coach. You know, there are many coaches in, this, in, in, the, uh, in the world who call themselves coaches who, uh, who consider um, having a certificate on the wall to be a qualification as a coach. They do a massive disservice to the industry. They do a massive disservice to the people that come to them uh, for their services because they don't engage in personal growth experiences. They don't even hire a coach. I mean, how, how authentic and congruent is that? Uh, you'll find most people are like that in the coaching industry. Uh, and you'll always know who is at the top of this industry because they are always working with people that stretch their thinking, that, that is that are helping them dig deep into their own personality, dig deep into the unconscious to improve themselves, therefore they can improve others. You've heard John sing this philosophy uh, for a long, long time. Or maybe not sing, he's wrote it and spoke it. I, I, I don't think John would ever want to sing the philosophy, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, and, and you should have that intention. I mean, and already, I'm sure you do, and, and if you're not already living that, because you've chosen to associate yourself with John. So if you're going to market yourself as a coach, please understand that the marketplace has ex exceptionally high expectations of you, and you need to know your stuff. So if you're right at the beginning of the process for coaching, just focus on module one and two. There are five modules, so it's not as if you're going to have to go all the way through, uh, so you can find ground in... Uh, in the coaching space straight away. There's two brief lessons in Module 1. So for a start, you're through Module 1 very, very quickly. Uh, module 2 will help you understand some of the boundaries of coaching and, and also understand, it will also share with you some fascinating insights and a, a very powerful graphic about how your mind works that will change your life. Um, and it will prepare the ground uh, for the work ahead. You'll learn what coaching really is, how a coach has an entirely different view of people and human potential than any other professional practitioner. And you'll, as I discussed, you'll already discover why developing yourself a character plays such an important part in a coach's life. Module 2, Lesson 1 shares boundaries on what coaching is and what it isn't. You heard Scott Fay relate to some of that. Um, he, he said he wanted to just be a, a teacher. And he, he said he... he he now knows that right now that he's teaching. He knows that because he now has the awareness that the curriculum has given him about the boundaries of what represents coaching and what doesn't, how it differs from mentorship, how it differs from training, how it differs from teaching, how it's not consulting, how it's not therapy, and how it's not counseling. Lesson two, as I mentioned, brings a life-changing look at how your mind operates. Isn't it bizarre? Everybody in the world wants to change their results, but they're not willing to look at what creates their results. As James Allen, that great author, said, people are anxious to improve their circumstances, but unwilling to improve themselves, they therefore remain bound. I'd focus your efforts on those videos for a couple of weeks and really let the information sink in. Every video has a work guide, so you, you can complete the work guide as you go through to ensure the information is transferred from data to knowledge and knowledge to understanding. If you're already further down the 90-day roadmap, perhaps you're on day 70 or something, <clears throat> you should be at least at module four by now, learning the Tagoro coaching structure. Uh, the, that's a structure, everyone, that we, we share in the JMT that takes us through uh, an understanding of, of how to structure a coaching interaction. Coaching is not a chat. It's a deliberately structured interaction between two people to take one person from where they are now to where they intend to be. Uh, so ideally, you'll also be you'll, you'll be moving towards module five, learning about the learning cycle and the terror barrier, how to successfully navigate change. So there's so much there for you to get through. But if you're further down the line, day 70 or so, that's where you should be. Now, the curriculum is pur uh, purposely structured in a linear learning journey. So enjoy the process. It's not a race. And as I said uh, earlier, just take your time um, and just step through it piece, piece by bit. I've deliberately built it from foundation upwards. You're not starting at kindergarten, but what you are starting is the foundation, the foundation of a very strong structure that will make you, if coaching is for you, which I, I passionately believe for everybody on this call, it should be, you will find that um, coaching, uh, my, my intention and my commitment to you 
is to make you a world-class coach. And I promise you, if you speak to colleagues in this, uh, in this, in this family that have been around for a long time, they will tell you that that, that is exactly what you will get. Okay, let me open up the lines because I've waffled for long enough here. Just hit the, there's the lady. Uh, hit the uh, uh, hash six button and oh, sorry, star six button, and uh, you can come into the queue and ask me any question you like about coaching or. Uh, if you've got any uh, any other questions you'd like to ask about coaching or even the John Maxwell team um, process, the 90-day roadmap, if I can help you, just uh, hit those buttons and you'll be there straight away. All right, we've got Chris straight up. Hi, Chris. Welcome to the call. Hi, Christian. Um, just a quick one, Christian. Um, how do we go about prospecting for new clients for coaching? Okay, so... Um, I, I think the most intelligent way, and I wish I had this, it's a great question, Chris. Mm -hmm. The biggest challenge of coming in this industry is, there's, there's many challenges, um, uh, but the, 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 the biggest one for me was not having an intelligent way to build my business. The first thing I would do, Chris, is people need to grasp the, the understanding of what coaching can do for their lives yes. uh, in a way that... that Many people have boundaries towards um, uh, that, that kind of, they're not sure what coaching is, they, they think they're going to end up with a professional nag and so forth. So I think that the best way is to follow the guidelines that we have at the John Maxwell team, and that is to set up a mastermind group as quickly as possible. Get into those videos, get a mastermind group working, and I tell you why, Chris, mm -hmm. because the mastermind principle was written by uh, was 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 mentioned in um, in a book that has created more millionaires than any other written media. Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, and that's because you don't have to spend long in a mastermind when a group of people come together with the intention of mutually supporting each other in their success. Mm -hmm. To realise how powerful there's almost like a third mind, right. the mastermind that that takes place, and people really awaken. To, to the power of personal growth. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this to you is that part of the mastermind process, that's not coaching per se because people are following a, a, a curriculum, in, in our case, the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John Maxwell. Oh. But you'll find that when the group discussions take place, people start thinking outside of the material in terms of what it means to their lives. And as you go through this process, Chris, by the end of that mastermind, if you follow the guidelines that we have given you and the reason that they are very structured is because we know what works and what doesn't, I promise you, you will have people in that group asking you to be your personal coaching client. That's mm -hmm. the best way, Chris. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's, it's not trying to push water uphill. It's actually sliding down the slide with the water to help people uh, taste what coaching can do in terms of helping them achieve everything they dream about, but they just don't know it's possible. And it will stop those people that just end up being seminar junkies that are looking for the light bulb to go on. But it never happens, Chris, because they never get asked the questions that help them go in and unlock and connect with their untapped potential. You can, you can listen to all the information you like in the world. Unless you go in and go beyond just memorizing data, unless you go inside, which is what the coaching question does, Nothing changes. Does that help, Chris? It sure does. Thank you for that, Chris. You're welcome, my friend. Great to talk to you today. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Fabulous stuff. All right. Now, I can't believe this. This cannot be my first certification call where nobody wants to talk to me. Have I done, I don't know, it must be the deodorant or something. Oh, here we go. I think we've got Shervin here. Shervin, welcome to the call. Have I got your name right? Is that Shervin? Shervin, good man, I have got your name right. Huge, make sure I've got it the right way around. Welcome to the call, how are you? Thank you very much. I have joined the group uh, about, uh, four weeks ago. I'm very happy to uh, be part of a team. And just want to let you know I'm very excited about the coaching process and I'm looking forward to learn a lot from you and everyone else and basically be able to, first of all, ask the right question for myself and self-coach myself, and, and hopefully can help others in the same way. And just want oh, to let you fabulous. know. And yeah, that's good. Well, thank you, know. you for that. It's great to... Uh, I'm glad you've got the appetite for it, and you're right. Um, when you become a coach, you do become uh, uh, quite skilled in asking yourself the questions. It's, it's an interesting point you made. Uh, Socrates 
said that the quality of a person's life will always be in direct proportion to the quality of question that individual is willing to ask themselves. And, uh, and, and we're, not, we're not engineered to ask ourselves the kind of, of coaching searching question, the curiosity-based inquisitive searching question. We're not programmed to ask ourselves that question because we have been programmed through an education system that has poured information at us to regurgitate at a certain point in the future. Now, that is not education. That is information. Let me explain the difference. Education stems from the Latin word educo, E-D-U-C-O. That word means to draw from within. So, my friend, I can promise you that's, uh, that's going to change everything in your life. And, um, and, of course, we all have the challenge, even when we do become coaches. What's vitally important is that you, know, you, you, you can't always or very rarely ask yourself the kind of questions that, that you really, really need to ask yourself. And that's why you need a coach, because you can't see the picture when you're in the frame. We're all living too closely inside our own consciousness. We, we, <laughs> that's the whole purpose of somebody asking ourselves, que- asking us questions to move us outside of our current awareness, our current worldview, the window that we're currently looking out of. Um, but it's still powerful to ask ourselves, and we do ask ourselves naturally when we become coaches, questions that the vast majority of this planet don't. Great stuff, Sherwin. I look forward to serving you and, uh, and welcome to the John Maxwell team. You. You've, made a, you've made a great decision, my friend. Thank you. Oh, I think he's gone. There you go. All right. Uh, Himley, back in Singapore, how are you doing? Yes. Uh, uh, how are you, Christian Himley here? Uh, Himley, I'm very, I'm very good, my friend. Well, well, okay. well, welcome. Good to talk to you. Good. Um, I did ask this question to Melissa uh, a few days back, uh, but I'd like to hear from your your views, uh, being in the coaching industry for many years and a successful one. Uh, going through this uh, John Maxwell coaching uh, learning track and to be a coach, do you need the ICF certification to further substantiate your credibility in front of the customers or you know, going through the John Maxwell coaching will suffice? Yeah. Now, this is a great question, um, uh, Himali. So, uh, just for everybody else, there is there is a, a huge movement in coaching. I'm an accredited coach. It's, a, I, it's called an accredited coach, so I've got a professional accreditation. So is other so are other members of the faculty. Melissa Malik is an ICF accredited coach. I'm not ICF accredited. I'm accredited by a company called the European Coaching Foundation, um, and I have not uh, sought to be accredited beyond uh, or uh, an ICF accreditation uh, for, for for my own reasons. So let me explain. Um, where this really fits and where it doesn't. There's, a, uh, there's nothing wrong with being, should you choose to want to have an accreditation, which is you know, a formal um, qualification in coaching. That's fine if you want to do that. We don't do it at the John Maxwell team um, simply because um, it, it, it isn't necessary for you to be a, a very successful coach. Um, it's an important part of our industry for those that, uh, that choose to, to do that. And and uh, I want to be um, certified, but does it stop you being successful? No. There are certain doors that will not open to you if you are not ICF accredited. Um, that is because we we live in a world where people think. Um, in a certain way, I understand this thinking, and in a certain way, I, I agree with it. But there's another side to it actually that is very limited. Uh, certain the certain uh, shall we say uh, organisations that uh, such as government bodies. That, that want to make sure that they have credible coaches. That's perfectly understandable. Um, and so they, they, they insist only on ICF accredited coaches. So I couldn't work in them, even though I'm, I'm without sounding um, conceited, uh, globally recognized as, as one of the world's leading business coaches. Um, and, and so, uh, but they're, they're the only doors. So large, very, there's a few large corporations that insist upon it. Very few, um, and you know, more and more are, 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 are jumping on that bandwagon, but not a lot. And then there's the governmental bodies that that it's becoming important for. So, is it a good thing to have? Of course it is. Is it necessary? No, it isn't. Is it going to stop you being successful? No, it is not. There is an enormous array of people in the coaching industry that don't have a certification um, in in the ICF. There are some very poorly equipped coaches that do have ICF accreditations. Um, as I mentioned, it's 99% about who you are. What I would say to you, Himley, is, is this. 
carrying the John Maxwell t- uh, the John Maxwell name is going to open far more doors than an ICF accreditation. That I can promise you. But the other side of that coin, my friend, is that you have to understand the responsibility that comes with carrying that name. You can't play at coaching. You have been through the curriculum you mentioned. And by the way, if you've been through it once, then you've only got about another 20 or 30 to go. Um, Because it's that important repetition is the first law of learning. Um, But I can promise you, uh, it's a great thing to do if you really want to do it and you really want to hone in on coaching. Is it going to stop you being a powerful coach, a world-class coach? No. I can tell everybody on this line this truth. I have ICF coaches, two of which are in the faculty, in Melissa Malik and Ed DeCosta, who will confirm to you. And by the way, Ed DeCosta and Melissa Malik came through the ICF's premier training company, their premier training company, and they will tell you that the John Maxwell team certification is far more advanced than the most thorough and comprehensive coaching training available on this planet. Just because it hasn't got the ICF certification at the end of it, because we choose not to jump through the hoops, and there are significant admin hoops for being ICF accredited, and because we carry the John Maxwell team brand name, we don't feel we need to. Just because that's not there doesn't mean that you do not have the most advanced training. And I am saying that, holding my hand on my heart. Go and talk to Ed DeCosta and Melissa Malig, and they will tell you that's the case. Uh, you have world-class curriculum. So in terms of being the coach, which I talked about was so important for you to be world-class and for you to charge the rates that you want to charge in this industry and should be charging because you've been associated with John Maxwell and the curriculum that's under him, do not worry about anything else. Does that answer the question thoroughly enough for you? Yes, Christian. Uh, Thank you so much. I mean, for the benefit of everyone, I serve as International Coaching Federation. Thanks, Uh Christian. Yes. Uh, good. Excellent. Well, thanks for asking the question. But nothing wrong no. with the ICF. There's nothing wrong with it at all. If you want to do it, go ahead and do it. But uh, it will not be to your detriment uh, in any shape or form if you don't. There's many JMT are very, very successful. Most JMT in our in our community, very, very successful coaches, and they are not ICF accredited. Thanks, Himley. Good to talk to you today. You're welcome. Uh, I think we've got. Is it uh, Javier? Yes, correct. Uh, Hello, Christian. Uh, I'm calling from Madrid, Spain. Um, Hello, Javier. How are you, my friend? Uh, or I'm should very say, good. Hola. 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 Hola, amigo. Uh, Christian, thank you very much for this session. It, it is very useful for, for me. Now, this is my question. Uh, assuming that, I mean, there is one moment in this, within this process that I do have to select where to focus, as a speaker, as a coach, or as a trainer. Yes. Now, I have to choose my path. Now, assuming that I like or I want to be, let me say, uh, an expert in, in those three, is there any kind of natural trend, logical trend to start, for example, focusing on a speaker or maybe, I mean, what is your view on that? Is there any, any natural process in terms of going one after the other? Um, there isn't. I think what you've got to do, my friend, is examine your heart. What, what is it that you're most passionate about? What is it you would like to do most? Because you, you've always got them at your disposal here. They're not, they're not going to disappear. It's just about choosing where you want to prioritize first. If, if you want to start with your speaking, and if you think about the model here, um, which I think is really powerful and I never had when I began in this industry, the speaking part of it for me, I mean, obviously you can choose to have your entire career as a speaker and do nothing else. Um, I, you know, I've worked with some of the greatest speakers, and we do work with the great speakers, John Maxwell, Les Brown, Paul Martinelli, um, and, and I've, I've worked with many, uh, many others, Bob Proctor, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, most, yeah. mostly their businesses are built on, on speaking. But you have a look at John's. It isn't built on speaking because he's got his book business as well. Look at Les. He's got his programs. So there's all that back office that goes on. So really, speaking is like the shop window. Yeah. Um, so if speaking's in your heart, do it. But, you're pretty, but ultimately, the back office, what makes the money, what really makes the money, Javier, yeah. is coaching. So, um, you know, it doesn't really matter which one you start at. It's not as if you're going to start to learn to be a speaker and not look at coaching uh, if, it, if, it's, you know, if it's something you want to do. And the training aspect, you know, the five learning models, it's all there for you structured. So you're, you're, going, to be, you're going to be doing that anyway. So really throwing the, um, you know, the, uh, the plates in the air and thinking, okay, I want to start somewhere. What's in my heart first? 
you know, I'll go, I'll go and learn how to be a speaker off Roddy Galbraith. Fantastic. What a, what a, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Or I'll learn some coaching from Christian. And then as you're, as you're building your business, you'll want to learn sales and marketing from Ed DeCosta. And, um, and, and then you've got the, the masterminding and the accountability with Melissa Malik, accountability partners. And, oh, that's in the mentorship program. But you'll learn, um, uh, you know, masterminding from Melissa and so forth. So, you know, there's... Yeah. there's the sounds a lot there, but just just go with your heart, my friend. And whatever you felt like starting on initially, just go from go from that. But the ninety day success roadmap will give you some clear insights about where to start on any discipline that you want to start off on, and it's all very structured. And you'll dip into the to the next when you're ready, and um, and go from there. So yeah. I, there's nothing there's no there's no natural process. Just go with go with what what's in your heart first. Okay, okay, Christian. Thank you. It's very clear. You're welcome, my friend, and uh, enjoy your weekend over there in Madrid. Yeah. Adios. All right. Uh, Golden, welcome to the call. Are you there, Golden? Oh, I didn't hear my name. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, yes. Um, I'm, I'm really excited. I, I'll say that the reason I end up joining the John Maxwell team is because of this coaching aspect. I've been training on coaching and just never – just got enough of the bug, um, but that's one of my greatest interests. And you've mentioned on several occasions the encouragement to secure our own coach, and I was wondering if you would recommend going ahead and doing that, and if so, is there a list of some of the John Maxwell coaches that you would recommend, uh, or is there a list out there? Uh, I don't think there's a, uh, a list currently uh, for uh, – for, uh, it's a great question, actually. It's, it's, you've just given me a thought about it. That, that that should be something perhaps we should uh, be looking at. Um, but I don't think we do currently have a list of, uh, of John Maxwell certified coaches who have gone through the uh, curriculum and are in mentorship and so forth. Um, I know that... Um, uh, so in terms of finding you... Uh, I mean, obviously, in the mentorship program, you get a coach anyway, Golden. So right. and obviously, I appreciate you're not there yet, but... Uh, although you, you could choose to, if you'd like to find out about it, uh, you can just contact admin. But effectively, uh, we run coaching partnerships within the mentorship program deliberately to give people a 360-degree learning experience of coaching. Let me explain that 360-degree experience. The the delivery of coaching, the receipt of coaching, so you're the coach and the participant, and also, as we're having a month's worth of at the moment, uh, observing a live coaching process um, underway between two coaching partnerships that we uh, that we have and then uh, everybody feeding back in their insights from being a fly on the wall which is such a beautiful rarity uh, in the coaching industry because of course coaching is built on confidentiality so you can get one through that process but as regards to and, and i appreciate the, the question and the integrity behind the question golden because it's important for you to have a coach um i will uh, i will see whether um, it might not happen too quickly, but about whether we have an approved list of uh, of coaches for people that are coming new into the into the JMT fold. But for now, um, you know, it's always worthwhile you 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 sourcing perhaps locally um, uh, a well-renowned coach, um, uh, an experienced and uh, uh, valuable coach, just just for your own personal growth purposes. And if nothing else, Golden, it's a great process to follow uh, right. in in terms of of understanding what's important about procuring a quality coach so you'll be you know you can position yourself in that process when other people are doing it for you um so just put your feelers out there but in the meantime i mean you can always um uh, ask uh, around the jmt community on facebook and so forth who they would recommend uh if there's uh you know if you're looking for a coach within the fold um i'm not too sure uh, we need to probably check into whether there is a list it's a good question and uh Maybe we should do that. Good, so thank I you. Help, I can't give you a name right away, Golden, but I think it's probably worth you doing your own research. Particularly, I, w I would look for someone in your local area um, who's, a, who's an experienced coach. And given what you know for the John Maxwell team curriculum, interview them. Yeah. And also, ask for the name of their coach and then ask for permission to phone that person hmm. um, and phone that person and ask how long they've been working with the coach. All right? Thank you very much. Yeah, it's funny here in uh, the South. We when we talk about being a coach, I always think about football. Uh, it's, yeah, it's been yeah, you see, that analogy does not help at all because 
<laughs> yeah, it does not. <laughs> no, it doesn't, because mo- that's where most people get their view of coaching, uh, Golden, is right. because they, they think you've got to be an expert, you've got to be a tactician who then shares and imparts their, their experience and their information and their skills to other people. And, of course, you know, Golden, and that's not what a coach does. No. Um, a, a psychological coach, the coaching that we're in, asks the questions, listens deeply, um, listens to what's being said and what's not being said, has insatiable curiosity, and uh, and, and works very intuitively to unlock the answers from within. The answer is always within the individual. Fantastic. Great to speak to you today, my friend, and thanks for coming on. Thank you. Enjoy. All right, we're at the top of the hour. I am so sorry uh, for everybody who's in the Q&A currently. I can't get to you, and I do have to shut down right on the hour because at 9 o'clock there is the support calls moving forward on, I think it's the good, the bad, and the ugly, uh, uh, and et cetera, et cetera, support, support calls this morning. They, they start at 9 o'clock. Uh, you'll have seen those on the John Maxwell team Facebook, so uh, on the Facebook page. <clears throat> so unfortunately, I can't answer. I'm so sorry we've run out of time there, but it's been a, a fabulous hour for me to be with you. Um, I hope this has started your weekend off uh, in an exciting fashion. I love doing the Saturday morning certification. Uh, John Maxwell team calls. I want to thank you all for being present this morning. I am looking forward to being with you and to meeting you in person at the training events, which, whichever training event you're coming to. I do hope that is February. Um, and, uh, and I hope today has given you an insight into coaching that just might whet your palate for transformational leadership and what it can do in your life and what you can bring to others' lives through it. Many blessings to you all. I'll say my goodbyes and open the line so you can say goodbye to me and everybody else and have a great weekend. Bye for now. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Christian. Thank you.